G'day everybody, check this out. This is awesome. This is a life jacket. It's called a bum bag life jacket. You wear it around your waist as opposed to the normal life jackets that you wear over your shoulders. The life jacket's folded up in there and it inflates and pops up in your face and you just slip it over your head. Whereas the other normal yoke style ones go around your shoulders, you pull the string and they expand when you're already wearing them. These can be unraveled and sat over your shoulders ready to go, like a yoke, so that when you pull the cord, poof, up she goes. But I like these because it means I can sit in my kayak fishing without having to wear a life jacket over my shoulders. They make them with long cords too. Long enough to go around big stomachs, which is why I like it. There you go. I'm ready to go fishing. I've got my life jacket on. As I've said earlier, if it's a rough area, if you're going across the bar or the wind picks up on a lake, you can unzip that, unravel the life jacket, sit it over your neck, ready to go. If it's calm and you think you're safe, you can have it on like that. All you do is pull the cord and it'll still blow up in your face. A fantastic invention. I kid you not, these self-inflating life jackets blow up quicker than the airbags in my mum's Mercedes Benz. I tell you what, She's got some, some class, the old girl, too. Hi, Mum. You won't need a life jacket on a Mercedes, but you will need one if you're on a lake in a boat and it gets rough. You can have that sitting on your waist, out of the way. You can be fishing. Something, my big gust of wind might come up, a whirly wind, a storm or something, keep you out and you think, oh, no, what am I going to do? There's your life jacket. Look at that. And there it is. What did that take? Half a second. Now I'm safe. That's quite tight there. No worries, that can't come off. The first thing that strikes me is just how cold the life jacket actually is. That's from the gases coming out of the cylinder. And then here I am standing in the middle of the bush in a life jacket. Hope no one walks past. I'm going to look like a right dickhead. <laughs> but anyway, look, I'm safe. I've got my life jacket on. That's all there is to it. You wear it around your waist, it's out of the way, it's compact, and when you're ready to use it, you pull the cord, up she comes. Took not even half a second, quarter of a second. Fantastic. And now I've got to get the air out, fold it back up, put a brand new cylinder in and a, a brand new plastic lock, and away we go, it's ready for next time. I know this is quite comfy. I might just leave it on. I'm going to fly fishing in a little while, I might just walk up the stream with my life jacket on. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic invention from pfd1.com.au life jackets in Aubrey. Okay, I've set the life jacket off. Now it's time to fix it up. You should have a spare cylinder and a plastic clip. I'll show you where that goes in a few seconds, but firstly you've got to let the air out. These have a one-way valve, which is this thing. You put your finger in there, then you push the air out. If you take your finger off, the air doesn't come out. That's a one-way valve. Not like my mouth, that's a two-way valve. A little bit goes in, but a lot comes out. <laughs> Let's fold it right over and really get that air out. All the air's out. What I now do is I unscrew the old cylinder. That's no good and it's got to go out. I'm going to put that in a rubbish bag in my car right now before I get it mixed up with the new one. Okay, now what I've got to do... Get my plastic clip. If you see that, that's when you pull a string, that opens that lever, which dispatches the gas. I put a clip on here now. What that clip does is prove that that hasn't been pulled. I'll then screw the new gas cylinder in. That's it, that's all you need to do. Put the clip in, put the gas bottle in, that's the way to go. It's ready to go. 
I put the cap back on my one-way valve and I start folding it up. Press the fold one side over and then the other side. I do it upside down so that it leaves all the important stuff like the gas cylinders and the cords and stuff outside. There's still a little bit of air in this jacket, I might just uh, squeeze that out. Should be all gone now. Now. Last of the area now that it's folded up. I sit that back in there with the gas cylinder facing out so that the string can be poked through the hole of the bag. And there's the broken clip from before. You don't need that, that's rubbish. What's important that you make sure that that cylinder faces out so that it's easy when you pull the string. Now that bum bag life jacket's got a new gas cylinder, a new plastic clip, and it's ready to go. The moment I pull that, up she'll go again. The hook, the legend from Aubrey. Give him a call. He knows where the fish are biting.